it, it, it was terrifying. Reverend Hassan Daniel Ben Lolo says he still gets chills thinking about what happened last May. Violence broke out at a pro-Israel rally held in the midst of deadly fighting between Israel and Hamas when counter-protesters arrived. I had my kippa on my head and clearly uh, I, I could be identified as a, as a Jewish person and, uh, and uh, people were, were actually, uh, you know, throwing slurs on my way. The clash, which resulted in 15 arrests, is just one of many documented in B'nai B'rit's annual anti-Semitism report. The Jewish organization lists a record number of anti-Semitic incidents in 2021, 2,799 compared to 2,610 last year. Online hate accounted for most of that, but violent incidents rose from 9 to 75 in one year, many of them in that month of May. We saw that violence start to emanate in a way our community, a generation of Jews in this country, has never witnessed before. Statistics Canada compiles its own data on hate crimes based on police reports. B'nai B'rith uses those numbers too, but it also includes incidents of harassment, vandalism and violence reported directly to it. In cases where there is video evidence, individuals carrying out the acts can be clearly identified or there were documented arrests. B'nai B'rith cautions, however, that its numbers might be an undercount because Montreal and Toronto police did not provide data. The report details incidents including this one, where a Toronto man was attacked allegedly for being Jewish, harassment experienced by a sitting MP. I personally witnessed the car that is referred to in the B'nai B'rith report that drove up and down Kildare Road in my riding in Mount Royal in the city of Cote St. Luke, screaming insults, epithets and kill the Jews, kill the Jews. Two men were later arrested. The federal government held a national summit on anti-Semitism last July. B'nai B'rith called it a step in the right direction, but wants a national action plan. Sarah Levitt, CBC News, Montreal.